On the 7th of June 2023, officers responded to a distress call from a man alleging that his transitioning ex-wife was assaulting him and threatening to set his home on fire. Due to the gravity of the situation, the cops quickly rushed down to his aid. What's happening? So, my baby mama, her boyfriend, whatever you want to call him, split up. And I asked Is that Jaden or Amanda? Jaden or Amanda. I don't know if she legally changed her name yet or if she still goes by Amanda. She's doing that transition thing. Oh, she's she's a girl that's going to do a dude. Okay, so it, it was Amanda, but yeah. Jaden, okay. I texted her and I said, listen, I need my kids' stuff for school tomorrow because their main physical address is there. Okay, where's there? Uh, over right here on uh, Beverly Drive, 55 Beverly Drive. Okay. And I asked him for it, and he said no, and then he threatened to fight, come here and fight me, threatened to burn my house down with me and my kids in it. So I was like, all right, well, right there, that's, that's you guys. Yep, um, and I would love to press charges completely. Having talked with the husband, the officers proceeded to approach his ex-wife with absolutely no idea that they were about to encounter a crazy psycho. Jaden, I know you're in there. So listen up. Come to the door right now and explain your side of things. You will be charged with harassment and a criminal summons will be put out for you. So that means whenever you are found and met, you will be brought to court. You understand that? There's charges. So it probably behooves you to come outside. Come outside and talk. All right, then harassment it is. Off my property. Now he's going to tell you again. I now. can be here pursuant no, to my job. No, you can't yes, be I here. Can. No, you can't. I'm here Goodbye. to tell you that you're formally Goodbye. trespassed. If you go. go over there, you're going to get another I charge. don't give a Get off my property I now. Pursuant to my job. Goodbye. What are you going to do about it? You want to know? Because I'll beat the living right out of you, dude. <laughs> yeah, okay. You're going to come at me? Really? You're going to really? come at me right now? Get the fuck off my property. Get away from me now. What are you going to do? Back away. Get back in your house. I don't have to. This is wanna, my you yard. Wanna, you don't want to touch so, me. So, I'll walk you to the road. How about I'm that? I'm working on Come it. on, pal. Walk you to the road. How about that? I'm working on it. All right. Well, don't you come back. Because you if you do. You can't tell me what to do. Yeah, I can. No, you can't. Yeah, I can. No, you can't. It's my house. And I can kick you <laughs> off any <laughs> time I want unless you no, have a warrant. No, pursue it to my job. I'm allowed to be on your property. No, you can't. Get the f*** out of me. I'm on the property. Excuse me? Get the f*** away from me. Excuse I'm me? On the road. I don't give a f***. Do you need to be it's free land. I can walk wherever I want, just like you can, right? Am I right or am I wrong? Get the fuck away from me. You get the fuck away from my house. I'm not on your, I'm not on your property. It's still my house. You're still right here. For some reason, Jaden started to get aggressive with the cop. It was here that things took a turn for the worse. Listen, if you go back over there, I you ain't going be back over there. Get away right now. You gonna fucking shove me? Get Take away. it off. Take no it way. off! Get away! No, you ain't gonna shove me like that. Yeah, I don't I know am. who the fuck you think you are. You're getting in Just my Just because you got this, don't mean fucking shit. Get the fuck away from me. Since Jaden was not cooperative at all, the cops decided to show him that actions do have consequences. You're under arrest, okay? The fuck I am. Yeah, you are. Get the f up off me. Get your f arrest. Right there, some five control. I got a combatant subject. You're under arrest. You're under arrest. Get out of your stomach. Get off. Get on your stomach now. Get on your stomach now. No. I won't. More people are coming, you know. I right? don't give up, Bob. You think you're all macho because you got a badge? Where is it, buddy? Okay, you don't have one. At this point, he started realizing that it was a really dumb idea to have messed with an officer. And for a moment, it seemed like he had learned his lesson. Well, 
At least until he decided to go crazy again. Let me go. My arms are numb. Off. My what the fuck did I say? Fight with my partner here? Fuck you. You! You ready to get up? Be no, I can't. Up. My whole body's numb. I shot for fucking carpal tunnel. Guess what? Pick the wrong guy to mess with. What the? You wanna go to the ground? Quit their shit right now! Do not with us! Blow me, baby. Relax. Relax. You calm? Take a seat. You just did. In the end, she was charged with second degree assault, fourth degree criminal mischief, obstruction of governmental administration, resisting arrest, and on the 8th of January 2023, police officers were dispatched to the airport in response to an intoxicated woman who was making a scene. When the officers arrived, she was seen walking away and being completely uncooperative with them. Excuse me, miss. Miss, you're not free to leave. Okay, no, you're not. Come here. identified as Katrina insisted on locking herself up in the bathroom as she argued with the cops. However, the situation started to get more and more intense. Okay, do you want to come out here and I can help you out? What airline? I don't feel sincere in your voice that you're going to help me out. I'm here to help you. What airline are you flying with? I just think nobody like, I'm with a boss airline tonight. I'll just f***ing get money, bro. Because I didn't want to make a scene for y'all. You know what the door is going to help you in this town? I'm not. I feel like I'm going to go to the bathroom. Because I feel like that's the whole reason. talking crazy and arguing with the cops. Meanwhile, she didn't know that the officers had a secret strategy for handling her. No, I want to call. I hear you. We are 911. Yeah. No, no, no. We're restricting people down on our access because I was We are 911. No, no. We're restricting people down on our access. That's a dog. Don't do that. Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. We are the police when you call 911. Don't show up. Wait, but also, if I want to Did you, so did you have anything to drink that would make them think that you would need to be on the plane? When she finally got out of the toilet, she seemed to suspect that something was about to get out of hand, so she tried to play smart. I swear you didn't have anything to drink today. You're fine. Yes, I swear. You did not have anything to drink today. I, I am not being out of control. Because you can fly if you haven't had anything to drink and they think you're safe to fly. But there has to be a reason for them to kick you off the plane. So just be honest. Just be honest. Can we, can we, yeah, let's just go here. Just be honest. Did you have a thing to drink today? Is that against the law? No, that's what I'm asking. Lawyer? No, I'm gonna call a lawyer. For what? Before I ask, answer any more questions, I'm gonna call a lawyer. Did you have anything to eat today? I'm gonna call a lawyer. Before I answer any questions, I'm gonna call a lawyer. Did you have anything to eat today? I'm gonna call a lawyer. Have you eaten today? That's my lawyer. You haven't had anything to eat today? That's my lawyer. You take medication? That's my lawyer. Are you flying? That's my lawyer. Are you going to Georgia? That's my lawyer. Atlanta? That's my lawyer. Okay. We can both be ridiculous. They're running people at a deep, so. That's fine. That's all. 
I thought about how this is fun. Spray it. So how we want to spend our Sunday night, right? Yeah. Hi. That's the problem. Like, you know, you know damn well like this. Yeah. Yeah. So... After speaking to the airline staff, the officers decided that they had heard enough to arrest her, but Katrina felt she was too important to be arrested. Okay, Miss Karina. Please don't touch me if you don't have a reason to. Okay, I have a reason to. Okay. You're, I'm arrested? Yes, you're going to be arrested for public intoxication, okay? Take your backpack Seriously? off. Yep, and the reason is because I talked to the airline and they said that you were kicking and screaming and causing a disturbance. Take your backpack off. I'm not doing any of that. Wait, wait, wait. No, I want to wear your backpack off. Okay, your it's all being recorded. Yeah. Just take your backpack yeah. off, okay? Are you serious? Take your backpack off. No, I'm not doing that. Okay, will you? Will no, you I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Yeah, no, calm down. Wear your backpack off. Calm down. Okay. Calm down. Okay. The lieutenant, calm take down. Your back no. Take your backpack off. No. No, I, I was not kicking and screaming anywhere. I'm not saying. No, okay. calm down. Finish. All right, that's all right. Now just calm down. No, shoot me then. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. Yeah, that's it. As the cops started to search Katrina for any dangerous objects, she suddenly burst into a spur of uncontrolled anger. But it turned out to be a huge mistake on her part. I don't, I really don't feel comfortable. I'm standing, I'm standing, I'm standing right here. No, I, no, I don't want him touching me. I literally, he's out of power anymore. I don't want him touching me. I literally don't want him touching me. I'm asking you not to let him touch me. I don't want, I, I said, I don't want you touching me. I don't want him touching me. I don't want him touching me. I said, I don't want him touching me. I don't feel comfortable with him no, I don't want you touching me. Well, see, that's why he was doing that, because now you're kicking. Yeah, because he's touching me and I want him to. You shouldn't have touched me. I'm going to do want to be Well, right now you're under arrest and he has that ability. Wow, because I'm under arrest? Okay, f*** you. So? F*** you. So, oh, yeah, I can do whatever the f*** I want to put some cops. He's going to be so bad. All right. Karina, calm down. Hey, I don't want him touching me. I'm feeling really uncomfortable. I feel like it was like... He's just holding your leg. No, it's no, the fact that I wasn't even arrested, I feel like I'm not, like, like, if it wasn't in the right, if I felt like it was in the right, it would be understandable, but I already feel uncomfortable about that. Is that one thing, the fact that he's f***ing holding me like this? is not okay. How would you feel? How, it's your, da your dad's a police officer, how right? How would you feel? Your dad's a police I'm officer. How would you feel? Not man, your dad's a police I'm officer. How would you feel? I would feel comfortable because I trust him. Yeah, you're so comfortable? He's just yeah. touching my leg? No, he's touching my ass with his leg. Your Take your feet off of it. That's, That's not my foot. It is. What's that touching it? Hey, Karina. Yeah. You promised me kid. We'll let you stand back up. You want to stand up? I'm going to say that you're not going to kick my officers, okay? Yes, Daddy. I promise. Daddy, I'll be a good girl. Okay, so I'm this, is what, this is what officers try to tell girls to do. Yes, Daddy, I'll be a good girl. Yes, Daddy. No. No, this is what he's doing. This is what he's doing, essentially. The officers obviously knew Katrina was intoxicated, but they certainly didn't expect her to put up a fight. Literally. I don't want to touch you. I don't want to touch you. I don't want to touch you. Come on! I don't want to touch you. 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 I don't. Is she here? Come over here. Come over here. Give me a letter. Give me a letter. He's touching me inappropriately. I don't want to touch me yet. You're touching me on my ass. You're not touching yet. my ass right now. Get. No. No. Do not kick an officer. No, I don't give a f. Give me a letter. Get my letter right yeah. now. I don't want to touch me inappropriately. Not yet. Okay. Okay. Oh, so far. Ready? Yep. Karina, stand up. Katrina continued to be very uncooperative with the cops. Wait, no, give me my phone. Uh-uh, you'll get your phone when you get there. No, 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 give me my phone. You'll get your phone no. when you get there. I just don't really know how to Step into the car. No. Do not. Oh, my God. Get Step in the car. Step into the car. No, never know how to hold me in the car. Get in the car. No. You have to pull her leg. Yeah. No, I'm over here. I'm over here first. Karina, step your... I'm going to go. Shit, bro. Oh, 
really? You want to keep an eye on me? If I die tonight, as in your I just for this This is who you work with. I swear. See if you can uh, ratchet that part down there. Yeah. I remember my first beer, bro. No, why are you going with me? Hey, why are you going with me, babe? And hey, can you please go with me? I feel safe with you. Hey, can you go with me? Hey, the girl that was just about to get in, can you go with me, please? I feel safe with you. Alright, Karina, so we're gonna come in here, okay? No. Yeah, you're gonna get out the car for me so we can search you inside. And then you'll be able to call your father. Alright? Obviously, like, he's already here. He already has my GPS. That's not, he's in the FBI, not the fucking police department. Okay, so it's besides the point. So, yeah, so you really want that to happen? Right? You can take any calls in here? I don't need a phone call. I don't need, I don't need to talk to anybody real about their original number. Okay, well, let's go. That's not you. Okay. Yeah. You sure? Pass. Katrina must have thought she was too good to be touched, so she continued to be difficult. But she didn't realize that it was the end of the road for her. I don't want her touching me. I have no issue being detained. Okay. I don't want her detaining me. Yeah, but still walk through. I don't want to pass. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to touch you one more time. It's a walk. In the end, she was charged with resisting arrest without violence, assaulting a public servant, and public intoxication. Ma'am, lower the window! Ma'am, lower the window! In an additional unit. On the 26th of April 2022, police officers were inquiring into a vehicle when they discovered that the owner's driver's license had been suspended. When they proceeded to approach her, they found out that they had just met the queen of crazy brats. Ma'am, open the window. Brats, it didn't take long for this woman to start complicating an otherwise calm situation. Open the window, or I'm gonna break the window and you'll be placed under arrest. Ma'am? 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 Your license, registration, and insurance. If you don't comply, I will break the window and you will be placed under arrest. Do you understand that? become clear at this point that she was hell-bent on complicating things for herself. The cops were in no way prepared for how far she could go to get things done her way. Sorry, I'm trying to, I'm trying to call someone Good. to make sure that Step I'm safe. Step out of the vehicle. You are safe. Stop. I, I don't feel safe. I do not feel safe. Don't trap my arm. Don't trap my arm. Whoa, what are you doing? Hey, ma'am, lower the window. You're going to hurt us all. Lower your window. Ma'am, lower, lower the window. your window with your other arm. Ma'am, lower, lower your window. Lower your window with your other arm. Lower your window with your other arm. Is there a punch on this? No. Ma'am, lower, lower your, your window. window. You, you are now under arrest. Ma'am, you are now the under window. arrest. Ma'am, lower the window. You are now under arrest. Stop! Ma'am, lower the window! Ma'am, lower the window! Ma'am, lower the window! Send an additional unit.
this point, she started realizing that her actions had unpleasant consequences. Are you under arrest? Stop. What did I do? Can you tell me what I did, you guys? You're arrested for aggravated assault against a police officer. Can you below. tell me Man. what I did? You're, I'm under arrest. You're under arrest. Under arrest. Under arrest. Step out of the car. Step out of the car. Turn around. 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 Turn good behavior when they arrive at a police station. However, for some reason, she continued to cause more trouble for herself. Let me search. I'm going to take the handcuffs off and put both hands on the wall. Do you understand? Okay, turn around. Just the wall. Hand on the wall, please. Thank you. Can you move the jacket, please? No, no, no. No, so it doesn't. I don't. I have to put it down. It's not, it's not an option. Put your hand against the wall. You guys play like put your hands against the wall. On the wall. On them. I really do not right, want to do you want to get obstruction too? Are you really you're not, not following instructions is your problem. They're on the wall. No, they're not. They're not touching. Put, are you not, clean them? put them on the wall. Are I'm not going to tell you again. So could you clean it for me, please? Do you? No. Oh, okay. your hands on the wall. I'm, I'm putting them on the wall. Ma'am, I'm not going to have to you. They're not moving. Play I'm sure. you. I don't want your shirt. Can I, I want. No, I put your hands on the wall now. I mean, I'm not asking you a question. Can I pee? Place your arms on the wall. If I have to hold them, I will hold them. Can I pee? When I'm done. Yes. Wow. Wow. If somebody could just, you know, listen. It would be so hard, right? It would be done already. I'm so sorry that you have such a f life, because I do too. But Jesus, you picked the wrong job. Yeah, I picked the wrong job. Yeah, you did. Spread your legs. Thank you. Keep them on the wall. Keep them, Keep on, them the wall. on the wall. You guys are fine. That's great. We're ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell me why I got pulled over? I already explained that to you. That's you said because... You're playing that you have a warrant. That's it. It's that simple. It's not our fault. We're not the ones that put the warrant on you. We didn't arrest you. Whenever you got arrested, that's not on us. Uh, when I got arrested, keep your hands on the wall. This is on you. This is on you right now. No, when you got arrested before. Take a seat on the chair. Take a seat on the chair. My socks off? Correct. Is this your first time being arrested? No, it's not. Okay, so you should be familiar with this. Let me sit on your feet, please. Eventually, it began to dawn on her that people who play funny games win funny prizes. Is there a reason why I'm getting processed right now? You're under arrest. Yeah. It would have been just for the for the uh, for the warrant you had. Here, put this on. Put that on the chair. It would have been for the, just for the warrant you had, but then obviously close the window on the officer's arm. Not on the threshold and such. Do 
points for? Um, I think it's what I have court for in a couple weeks. I think for a... Uh, because so, so I got it in December. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's for failure up here. So why not? So why not just... It's, so it's for something I have court for. It's already set. It's failure to appear. Because you didn't go to court. Yeah, but they have a new court date set. Understood. Until then, because you didn't go the first time, you did a warrant. And all it would have been was you getting out of here in two hours, some paperwork, and that's it. I'm going to be on your chair right now, you guys. You need to urinate right now. I told you I have to I'm just... I, I mean... Right, well, you also said a lot of things, so I didn't know if it was just a ploy or if you wanted to just argue or I was speaking to you calmly and kindly and I, you just escalated I, everything. So excuse me no, for not believing it. In the I have been trying Stand to up, speak please. to you calmly and as well. Back. And that's why I'm just confused as to what's going on here, guys. I figured you guys... In the end, she was charged with ag assault on a police officer, resisting arrest and obstruction of justice. She also had two active warrants on her before the incident. Starting with this 13 year old who came to school drunk and repeatedly tried to lie about it. On March 7th, 2023, an officer responded to the school after school staff alerted them to a drunk minor who was misbehaving and was very uncooperative. Right here, she wants to right there. She just yeah, dropped right there. Pass. 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 Yeah, give it. It's not in here. We just no, it's, it's right there. It's not right here. There. I can see the bulge. The nurse is going to check him out real quick. I do have to read your rights, okay? Because I am going to charge you with a uh, minor allowing herself to be served with alcohol, okay? The test came back like I had it? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you do have a right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you in a court of law. Do you understand what I just told you? Yeah. Do you want to tell me or not? Because I am going to charge regardless whether you give the bottle up or not. Somebody was cute. Well, the nurse will probably be able to take it. Could get her belongings. But I can't, okay? And I'm not, but based mm -hmm. on what the nurse said, you, you know that test she gave you? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use that to charge you, okay? Oh, why? Because you're under the influence. Oh. I didn't drink alcohol. It's in your pants, and then. So, you guys. I have witnesses. But you're already gonna be charged, so can I have it or not? And you told us where it's at. We know that it's in your pants. No, it's not. I just saw it. We saw it. Miss John and I saw it. I saw the body. What do you see? It's there. Mom, um, the, they have me in the office or some shit, they should have said yeah. During the encounter, the minor would make repeated claims of innocence, despite school staff literally seeing the bottle of alcohol on her. So she'd make attempts to have her mom take her side and be her alibi, and we'll see more of her pretty soon. But the minor will continue mouthing off, which will not end very well for her. You know what? I can put you in cuffs and beat you, uh, put you under arrest. Okay. Okay, okay then phone. knock it off with the language. You. Okay. Diane, give Miss Nasty your phone or put it no, back on the phone. Yeah, knock it off. Okay. Yeah, you too. Oh, hell no. I didn't punk it. Yes, you did. Uh, well, I want to know the tank. Oh, you're my hair punk. Hold on, let me cuff it first. Wow, bro. Cuff it to the top. You're under arrest. Wow. Yeah. Oh, Wait, let me cuff the other one. Oh, I can't cover the other one. I have to. Fuck that shit. Because you're detained now. Okay, hold on. No, not yet. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Let me have the other one. No. Move. I still have the other one. Oh. Move. 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 Now? 
and minor possession of Robert Hall. While WrestleMania in the middle of the office was taking place, the miner's mother would now storm in and insist that her daughter's innocent. The mother pulls the classic, I'm gonna sue you, as if that'll get her daughter out of trouble or something. But anyway, let's peek back into the office and spoiler, she's still actively resisting. <laughs> Where's the bottle? Oh, they let you lose me. Oh, they let you lose me. Oh, they Oh, you open it too much. Okay, whatever. Just stop. There you go. Okay. You ready, okay? It's all good to your mom. If they tell me to release you, I'll do the classic citation and I'll release you to your mom. After officers finally secured the minor, school staff would relay what happened to the officer while he was in the foyer speaking to Miss I'm gonna sue. She was standing threatening me. Okay. Did she where she hit your arms or she didn't touch me, officer got probably got her. I'm not lying. Yes, you were. You were trying to take my phone. You were trying to take my phone. You were trying to go on my phone and I started I started I moved my phone like this. And so when you hold it away from me, yeah. yeah. So that's what's in your finger because you want to have such a yeah. grip on it, okay? After she tried to point the finger towards everyone but her, her mother would somewhat calm down. So the officer would head down to have a more rational conversation with her. Uh, yes, how is it we can try to help you? Um, I don't know what happened. Okay. Well, your daughter was here on school grounds. She's in possession of alcohol. Okay, yep. She had a little bottle of vodka, 99% proof, whatever it is she was drinking. She seems intoxicated. She started getting combative with the staff because they were trying to take the bottle away. And they were trying to, yep. So she had it tucked in her pants and they wanted to retrieve it, the bottle that she had. So was, she was drinking out of it. So she can't be in possession, obviously, of alcohol. I know she was here when she called me in this area. She was, Mom, yeah. come pick me up. Yeah. And, and what happened? They drove her over there and they jumped They didn't drive her over there. She got escorted over there and then she, she had a phone. With her. The principal says, Give me the phone. I don't need you to be uh -huh. texting your friends, telling yeah. anything here. It's a school again. Yeah. A little less. I'm... So while the principal had the phone, she lunged at the principal to snatch the phone and hit the principal's hand. And the principal goes, I'm not going to fight with you. I'm not going to fight over her phone. But she, she gave her the phone back. Yeah. At that point, she got up. She was being really disordered. Really she? Cool. She's really argumentative, cussing at everybody. And she squared off to the principals. She stood up and was coming at the principal again. So that she didn't get hit or anything because of what she was doing. The officer grabbed her by her side. Oh, off. Okay, you're more than welcome. I've been out like, because I've been out there already. Um, I, like I said, like, I, I, um, I mean, my daughter's never given me any problems. And like I said, she was here as a parent. I was your kid. And they say, Dad, come pick me up. I'm waiting for you here. And she says, why don't my daughter take me? And I call her, and nobody will tell me. It might be the alcohol. I don't know. Is that only for the parent to be hysterical and nobody says nothing about their daughter? Because your daughter hasn't calmed down till now. Your daughter again went for the alcohol bottle again on the table. She doesn't drink. I don't know what, but she had it on her. She doesn't drink like that. You, I, don't you, know. You, I know, you can tell me. I don't know if she got it from another student. The fact that she uh, had it. You know what I mean? Uh, what's so even right like now, yeah. she slipped out of the cuffs yeah. and charged again. She is being charged with three different things. I don't want to fight that. And I, I want to go for that's why. So okay, am I not going to take my daughter right now? She's going to assume the first paperwork. Can you, can you just, because uh, my daughter gets hard, you see, um, real hard to like contain. If she'd be in hard with you, she'd be even worse with us. Yeah, yeah, but I know, but yeah. I'm here to pick her up. Like, I'm here I mean, to tell him, not, like, like I said, we do the paper, finish the paperwork. Okay, once we're done with our paperwork, we're going to turn over to you. Why okay. should there be in there while everybody's in there staggering? And, because know. we will contact the juvenile probation officer. Seeing if they were willing to detain her and take her to the jail. Detain her? Why? Is because battery and school personnel is a oh, felony. It's a felony? Yes. Uh -huh. As soon as you make contact with a rude incident or angry matter to another individual, the school staff, even if I just slapped okay. your hand, it's a felony. Okay. Yes. To her benefit, she had a rational conversation, and despite not fully agreeing, it was made mutual that her daughter would be going to juvie. While the mother understood her daughter was in trouble, the minor would persist on verbally abusing everybody. Well, how much parts are going to be? Because like, I could see a lot of documents. There's three charges. Down. There's three charges. What okay, kind of charges? Okay, you're looking at battery and school personnel. You're looking at resisting and uh, the alcohol. 
The one with the teacher, the school personnel, that's a felony. Oh, that's stupid. That's but stupid. nothing happened with the teacher. It doesn't have to happen. You don't have to injure somebody. It just has to be documented. As long as you touch that person. I didn't even touch that person. She touched my phone. I touched my phone. So when the f are you guys going to take these off? Are you guys retarded? So you guys have to keep them on the whole f***ing time? You guys are retarded. Look how loose they are. You're like they're no, tight. No, no, bro. They were tight at first. And they're still on here. And it's still affecting. Are you retarded or what? Now they're still gossiping? There's other stuff going on besides you. Uh, oh, really? You think I give a f***? I'm not talking about Okay, shut up. This is what she has. Just when we thought the encounter was over, a private conversation between the mother and daughter happened, and as a result, the mom calls the police department, and for what you ask? Alleging that the officer battered her daughter. This is that phone call. This officer brought he threw my daughter on the ground, and my daughter's a minor. Okay. to me. Okay. Okay, so obviously um, there has to be reason that any kind of officer uses force. And what about a camera? Should he have? Yep. Is he supposed to have a camera at all times? Yes. With my name? Yes, correct. Yes, most okay. definitely. I thought it was only 13. The officer threw me on the ground. I think my head and shit my knees. And then he mm -hmm. continued to put his knee on my hair. And then he started getting me a handcuff or trying to. Okay. And then he had me like down face first and then afterwards all the three security guards started attacking me. Okay. The minor was charged with felony counts of a battery on a school personnel, resisting arrest, and minor in possession of alcohol. If a teen bringing alcohol to school and lying about it, even when you're already caught was bad, things are about to get a whole lot worse. Okay, step out. I told you to open up. Come here. And I, I need to talk to you. To, open up this window. Admittedly, this woman is not a teenager, but her actions in this video certainly make her seem like one. New Mexico State deputies stopped a woman that was traveling 94 miles per hour in a 65 mile per hour zone. When the officer initiated a traffic stop, he never could have predicted how insufferable this stop would be. This could be a Hyundai Sonata, unknown passengers, driver's side is covered with a blanket. Can't see the subject. Let me see your hands, bro. Why, why are your windows covered like that? Step out of the vehicle, man. Come out here with me. Driver, let me see your hands. Four through seven, just to advise, I'm giving verbal commands on my PA. Driver's not, not listening. Driver, let me see your hands. Four through seven, still giving verbal commands, not getting answers. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. You need to come out. I can't hear you. I can, I can hear you. Okay. Go ahead and open your, you open the door with your left hand and your left hand only. All right, you're gonna be arrested, man. I'm telling you. Four through seven, so calm. It appears to be a female uh, stuck out her left hand. She's uh, she's flipping me off at this time, and she's just yelling. I can't hear her. You need to come out to me, to the sound of my voice. Open up that door, and you need to come to the sound of my voice, man. Force will be used. Thank you. Go ahead and step out. Step out of the vehicle right now, you're gonna be under arrest. Step out of the vehicle right now. During the encounter, the driver would remain uncooperative with the officer's commands and even started flipping off the officer. As the officer can't see the vehicle's occupants due to a blanket covering the windows, he'd remain hesitant on approaching the car. So he'd call for a backup officer to assist the stop. Listen to my commands, ma'am. Step out right now. Step out right now! Yeah. I can't see inside your vehicle. Go ahead and step out. But I'm gonna make contact on this side. Let me see your hands right now. Let me see your hands. Step out. Okay, step out. Step out. Go ahead and step out. Step out. Who else is in the vehicle? Bring down the windows. Step out. Step out of the vehicle. Step out of the vehicle. Stop. Who else is in here? My daughter. And You're not listening, ma'am. I'm telling you. I told you to open up. Come here. And I, I need to talk to you. To. And Open I up don't this window. Have to. No, come here. And I she, don't have just to. has a daughter. Hold on, bro. Just come out. Come here, man. Stop. Just stop resisting. Yeah, stop resisting. Hold on, baby. I'll be right with you. No, 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 no. ma'am. I'm giving you commands, okay? And Stand by right now. I'm gonna talk to your daughter. To. You do. Oh, you're you're going 94. You're going 94 on a 60 on a 65. Are you intoxicated right now? Hey. What's wrong with you? Why aren't you cooperating? What's wrong with you? She's intoxicated. Is this really, really worth it? Is this really worth it? Let go of my handcuffs. Ma'am. What do you think this is, ma'am? What's wrong with you? You have a small daughter in the vehicle. What's wrong with you? you okay, what's wrong with you? Don't resist, ma'am. Don't resist. Stop. 
one. Just stop resisting, ma'am. This isn't worth it, all right? You're getting more charges added, right? All right. Gonna stand over here. Once initiating contact, officers note both her erratic behavior and dilated pupils, which are telltale signs of intoxication. She'd exclaim the cops are scaring her daughter, when had the woman complied, her daughter wouldn't be crying. But to further crown herself mom of the year, she'd continue to escalate the encounter. I can't believe you think this is funny, ma'am. You have your daughter there, man. I can't believe you think this is funny. This isn't funny. I'll lock it, bro. Who said you're running, you're running your place under arrest, okay, for resisting. How, how much have you had to drink today? Huh? Alright, gonna come in here. No, you guys are so embarrassed. Okay. Stop, I don't have to go in there. Are you drunk? Not, You're under arrest right no, now. No, I'm not drunk and I don't have to go in there. Get in there, I right now. Not. Says who? Here, I got, I got pepper spray, bro. I got pepper spray. Get in there right now. Pepper spray is you can put fucking pepper spray yourself. I'm not stupid. This, this is your problem? Get in right now. I'm gonna use a taser. Get in right now. Get in there right now. Get in there right now. Get in there right now. Sit down. Ma'am, get in the vehicle. Sit down right now. Sit down in there. No, get in the vehicle. Get in the vehicle. You can. Listen to my commands. My daughter's right. Okay. Stop. Okay, get inside the vehicle. Put your feet in. Put your feet inside the vehicle. That is not. Not. Put her feet in there, bro. That is not hey, my relax, relax right now. Relax, okay? Due to her non-compliance, a taser had to be used to subdue her once and for all. But upon dealing with her, officers remembered her young daughter in the car, so they'd rush over to her to ensure that she's safe and unharmed. Are you okay? What's going on? Are you okay? We'll explain here in a bit. Just stay in there because there's traffic out here, okay? I'm gonna ask you something, okay? Would you want to provide a, uh, a breath no, test, breath example? No? I don't want to. What's happening? Or, you you want to go to my patrol car? Yes, come on. Come here, sweetie. Do you have any sort of Let's go this way. Are we going to back to my house? We'll, we'll let you know here in a bit, okay? Okay. I'm just gonna put you in here because I have, I have AC in there, okay? That way it's not too hot. Go ahead and have a seat soon. In a shocking turn of events, this woman was actually right for once. You are totally free to refuse a breath test. However, it's important to note that refusal in many jurisdictions will give cops probable cause and you will likely be arrested for refusal to submit alongside a DWI charge. That said, if this woman's annoyed you, what she says next may just enrage you, especially for you parents out there. You hope my daughter dies? Yep, I do. Thank you. So just pay attention. I'm about to read I'm some stuff, okay? Gonna I'm just going to read you your rights. Hurry up. <clears throat> All right, so did I have to you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against the court. You have the right to consult oh, with an attorney, to have an attorney present during the questioning. My permission if you guys can go her. check on the daughter, bro, please. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, not does he have it already? Okay, cool. All right, so if you cannot afford an attorney, one can be provided to you before questioning at no cost. Do you understand these rights? With these rights in mind, would you speak to me? You know, would you wish to speak to me now? The utter ignorance of this woman is truly baffling, but I'm sure we all feel the same way. But to make matters even worse, officers conduct a search of her vehicle, which uncovers some truly disturbing items, especially when you consider that her young daughter was riding with her. Alrighty. After unloading her completely unsecured firearm and as no surprise, an empty bottle of white cloth seltzers, she is hauled off to jail, where in keeping up acting like a child, would urinate in the backseat of the squad car. Step up. Why'd you put them in the front? Because Stand right there. Where'd you pee? Oh, all there and then all the way to the there. Put that on there. Go. go this way. Go this way. That's what I'm doing. Well, no. You should feel really proud of yourself. This 
negligent Karen faces a mammoth of charges, including driving while intoxicated with a minor, abuse of a child, aggravated DWI, refusal to submit, negligent use of a deadly weapon, speeding over 20 miles per hour, concealing identity, and resisting, evading, or obstructing an officer. However, her sentence is not presently known. This Karen's entitlement may be hard to top, but this 18-year-old comes very close. Stop opening my vehicle. Stop. 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 Stop.
You didn't stop, and then you tried to drive away a little bit, okay? No, I wasn't Listen, trying, just hear me I was out, trying to pull off the road, so what happened over there? Okay, hear me out, hear me out, okay? I understand there's a lot of issues going on back and forth with law enforcement right now, and a lot of people think that we're acting out and we're doing stuff we're not supposed to do. Okay? You can't roll the window up on us like that. Can't roll the window up, oh, and you have to listen. To, you have to listen to us when we're on a traffic stop. Okay, when we conduct the traffic stop, you are lawfully detained. You get with him for a second. Yeah. With this teen now a little more educated on the law and its consequences, the responding officer now gives a private call to the uncle, who was ultimately left in the dark the entire time, and likely quite concerned. As such, the officer would give him a call to inform him of exactly what went down. Hello. Hello there, is this? Yes, it is. Hey, this is Deputy Quentin Clark County Sheriff's Office. I apologize for the delay. That's quite all right. Um, so what, where can, where can I start for you? What, what, what do you got? What kind of questions? Well, I know. I, I guess, I guess it was speeding. I don't understand how it went from getting a speeding ticket and it escalated into him being taken into custody. So, when I approached the vehicle, um, I went up the driver's side of it and I walked up to the driver window where obviously he was sitting and I knocked on the window because he originally wouldn't open the window and I had to knock multiple times and he was sitting on the phone talking to someone and once I got him to finally roll the window down, you know, I told him, hey, I'm you know, stopping you for your speed, you know, I need your driver's license, registration, insurance, and at that point, he multiple times stuck his hand out and his finger and told me to hold on, and he was going to continue talking to someone on the phone, and I told him and gave him multiple commands at that point, you know, to hang up the phone and speak to me and give me his uh, information. And he okay. continued to just refuse to even even acknowledge me at that point. He uh, he kept talking on the phone, and I said, and I told him, I said, look, man, I need your stuff. And then at that point, I opened the door and I told him, hey, I'm gonna give you one more chance before you know we go further. I need your license, registration, insurance, or at least your name. And then he goes, I don't have my license. Reached his hand over to the gear shifter. And at that point, the vehicle was still on, and he reached for the gear shifter. I went and grabbed him and said, "All right, not, that, that's it. You're not, you're not doing this." And then that's when I went to just take him into custody, and he started to fight us, obviously, and all that. Um, I, I greatly apologize for that. That's not the way you phrased. No, like and that. like you know, I've always told, look, please tell you to stand on your head. You say where. <laughs> With a pleasant mutual conclusion between the officer and the uncle, the charges for this teen were as pleasant. He is charged with resisting an officer without violence and DUI as officers discovered he was also under the influence.